Hello, welcome to episode 3 of Planet Hyper Studio. As you can see, I'm working on a self-portrait. Hmm. Uh, I don't know. Does that look anything like me? It definitely needs work. Well anyway, you'll get a chance to make your own self-portrait if you want to, because today I will be showing you how to use the art and paint tools in Hyper Studio. Just let me get my brushes cleaned off and we'll get started. Alright, so let's get our paint tools. This little thing here. And this moves around, it floats around, you can put it where you like. I'm going to start by making a shape. Let's click on this circle. And it'll just give me a circle or an oval or whatever. There. Now, if I want to make some more choices, double click on it. It opens up this whole shape tool thingy. And this gives me the option of making a solid color. So I can, I'm still in the oval, but now it's going to give me solid and it happens to be pink because that's what was selected. The other choice that you have is, is this one, which is a shape with a border, one color and the shape a different color. And of course, you can do this with all the shapes. Okay, and uh, I think I mentioned this before. These are painted on what's called the background. Get the lasso tool. If you've got a solid background or a white background, which I tend to recommend that you wait to put the final background because you sometimes need to do some things with your colors. So I can select this and move it around, even though it's not a graphic object, not yet, it could be. And I can even change the shape of it. Like this. And then move it where I want it, and then click out of it, and now it's stuck there. Now, let's say I were to do the same thing with this. And I move this, and I set it there, and I let go of it. Now, it's stuck there. You have to pay attention to what objects you want that will at some point become a graphic object or you want it to just be like paint on a piece of paper. Because as you can see, this now, I can still grab it and move it around and manipulate it. But it's stuck together. I cannot remove that square. In fact, I will try and I'll show you what happens. I'm going to go up here to this, the square tools. I used to call these marching ants. I'll show you. So I can go with this. And I can select this thing. And take it away. But the other thing is gone. See, marching red ants. <laughs> so you got to pay attention to those sort of things. Now, a good way to just erase something is just click on it and hit delete. Or you can select something and move it somewhere else, turn it around and do things. Or you can collect a piece, cut off a piece of something. Sometimes I might want to trim something. You know, just go like this. And each time I, you see something change, I hit the delete button on my keyboard. So I can go like this and hit press delete on my keyboard, and now that goes away. These are my paint tools. It's got different colors. This is the size of the brush. See how that changes down there? I'm just going back and forth the mouse. Now I mentioned before about creating graphic objects. So when you get your lasso tools, I can select something, again manipulate it, turn it, change it around, 
but then I can go up to the top. I, I got this, you can't see this now, but go to the Objects button and convert to Graphic Object. And this is how you can do layers in Hyper Studio. So this thing can move around and I can create different things to put in inside of it and it, it's not it's kind of sitting on top or above everything else again you can layer things too let me just show you some of the other tools that we've got you got your traditional paint bucket here but again you, you've got all these different things so you can choose the different colors through here you can get the your traditional color wheel if that's how you prefer to look at things. You can do gradients. So now you can see the gradient. It's light blue over here. It's dark blue over here. Okay, let me show you some other tools. So I got my paintbrush here. I can choose a color and I can paint things, right? I can change the shape of my paintbrush and do like uh, like ribbons, kind of. I can choose what looks like a 3D kind of square thing. I can take my little this tool and erase everything with one stroke of the delete button. spray can which has lots of choices down here kids love these right there's all these different textures lots of cool textures now I'm going to go with my paintbrush here and We've got this sandy thing selected now, so that's good. So I can take this and make myself some a stone, or this looks like rocks. Other textures that you can choose might be bricks. You do the paint brook bucket it looks better. So let's go with paint bucket and click that. And now we got a stone wall. Like I said you don't have to be an artist with Hyper Studio. Today's tip of the day is simply multimedia. Use lots of media of all different kinds when creating your artwork. So remember this from the beginning, the little video you saw at the beginning of today's lessons. Let me deconstruct this for you. Okay, I'm going to go up to the edit mode so it stops going. What I did was, I, like I said, I'm not much of an artist. so. What I did was I took a, a picture that I had of just some guy and uh, turned it around and just made this little, used the silhouette to create this robe within Hyper Studio. I um, then started creating this thing and that I had to kind of move around. I took a photo of myself and I, I just kind of messed it up with a bunch of paint all over the place. And you can see over here, I use, I use the extra cards as a palette, okay? So let's click on this one right here. You can see this is what I was using to create all these figures. I found a picture of a guy's head, and uh, this, this was the original body that I, that I started out with. You can see it uh, is much different now. I added hair because I didn't like the hair on, on what I had. And so some of these are graphics objects and some of them are just painted on. Let's check out another page here. 
So this one I was manipulating with how much of the photo I wanted to actually keep. This is the original photo. Oh, it's not a graphic object. It doesn't move. And I created uh, the uh, paintbrush and I, I, made, I animated it, which we'll learn about in our next session on how to animate things. And what else we have? And uh, I found a little picture of a French hat. And I just put them all, sep I separated them and put them all together into what you ended up seeing. And so here I'll hit play again. And this is really all we have. But in order to create that, it was important that I separate all the different components. And I think I mentioned in the lesson earlier not to put a background on your project until you're finished because you may want to draw something or manipulate something and and if you're if it's not a graphic object then it's permanent or else you have to completely erase it so that's my art tip of the day in using hyper studio just take from everywhere and mix together and use the side use the other cards as as palettes where you can store all your little pieces Oh yes, one more thing, very important. Take a look at the arms. Let me show you how I did that. Let's go back to this guy over here. Okay, let's uh, blow this guy up a little bit. So what I did was I literally cut off the arms. Took one here like this. Uh, I was very careful and move that aside and then this one too okay here's the other arm just separated them didn't do a good job on that one, so let's work on this one. Just move it over here. Uh, what I did was I w took the elbow and then cut it. Move that. I rotated the arm and I grabbed the other piece. I'm doing this kind of quickly, so it's not doing a great job. Put that there. So now I have the elbow bending so that when you look at the, if you look at the original, you see the hand and you see the the elbow which is bent but it's in front of him rather than the way it was before. What I like about this is that you can incorporate things that are you know photos of people mixed in with animation mixed in with cartoons and it just makes it really fun. Well that's it for today if you like what you see then please like comment and share the videos or you can email me at joe at iteachapple.org. Next time, animation. See you then.